with you something that I've kind of never really finished and that's my kitchen it actually used to be set up a bit like a bed sit in this house so that kitchen area was actually a bedroom and this where I'm standing right here which is a breakfast nook now used to be a kitchen so it had a whole reshuffle there is a cat outside my window and I want to go outside and pet him is it my friend oh no it's a new friend hello because well, that's gonna help my allergies and my chest infection cool so basically the whole kitchen had to be completely gutted and then once it was kind of livable I then made a few DIYs to make it a bit more homely and then for a year I left it and here we are a year later and I haven't really finished it mainly because I was indecisive about paint colours and do I want wall cabinets or not etc etc but I finally made those decisions so without further ado here is my kitchen makeover. <laughs> So here's a very brief history of what this poor kitchen had to go to to get it to look like it does today. As you can see it was two separate rooms with a door between them. The first thing I had done was had that door taken down and a big hole cut between the room to let lots of light flow between the spaces and this made a huge difference. As you can see the walls and the window looking pretty bad so I ended up having them plastered and I had to have the window replaced as it was so damaged. I had it moved slightly higher up in time to put the sink in. The sink, the cabinets and the worktops are all from Ikea and then all of my appliances were installed but as you can see I just had to get involved. I ended up putting the handles on the drawers myself. I got these handles from a company called Heritage Brass and I think they look really nice on the Ikea cabinets and make them look a little bit more unique than just the standard knobs. Earlier this year I decided to stain the floors, finally the floors had to be replaced because the original ones had been a little bit nibbled by some woodworm so the new ones were really nice but I just never found the time to stain them so I did that, it made a huge difference but that's where the projects ended. And flash forward to today and I'm going to show you what the kitchen looks like. I didn't tidy up for this because this is a lived in kitchen with very little decent storage solutions but we're gonna fix that today. So this is what the kitchen's looking like right now. As you can see it's very lived in. I love the space, I love the light, I love how big and open and airy it feels but as you can see it's very cluttered. I've got these floor cabinets here and lots of storage but I could do with about 20% more. I was going to put some wall cabinets up here but I just feel like they'd box in the space too much so we're going to put up some open shelving today. And hopefully with all the open shelving done I can get rid of some of this stuff that's just sat on the countertops. All but one of these pegs have broken so I'm just going to replace the bar and try and use some different pegs because that clearly isn't working. Like look at this, there's just way too much stuff here but it's really annoying because all of this stuff is things I access all the time. This area is a hot mess so we're going to work on cleaning this up today. We got Henrietta the Hoover over here, we got some shelf brackets and my poor Ikea hack butcher block really needs a tidy up. As you can tell I've got my work cut out for me today but I'm really looking forward to getting some of that stuff off the countertops by doing some projects that give me a bit more organisation and storage space and space to display my kitchen knickknacks. <laughs> so uh, I guess we should jump in and I'm going to start with some of these projects. After clearing the space where the shelving was going to go, I stained some brackets that I'd originally picked up in IKEA and I ended up using the same stain that I used on the kitchen floor. I had some left over and I really thought that the colours would tie in nicely together, so that's why I'm using floor stain, but it worked very well and I did a couple of coats, let them dry and then when they were dry I was ready to put up the shelves. I picked these two shelves up at a local restoration centre and they had to have a very very good clean, they were a bit dirty but they are really sort of a little bit beaten up, they had some letters printed on them, I really loved how rustic and old they felt and I thought they'd be perfect in the kitchen. So I just measured them up and started installing. <laughs> I 
is very meticulous about placing these shelves. It took me, in all honesty, about two hours to get it absolutely perfect, but I knew these were gonna hold some very, very heavy items, so I wanted to make it perfect. Oh, would you look at that? I'm wearing a mask for once. What a concept. But as you can see, I really wanted to reinforce them to make sure they were very sturdy. Ta-da! I finished the shelves that are behind me. I ended up moving the top one about three centimeters higher up as I didn't have enough space, but I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I am thinking that I might add another shelf now though. This, get off. Sorry. This one I bought in TK Maxx about a year ago and I absolutely love it. It's really cute and quite small. And I think it would be perfect for right next to the hob where I store all of my cereals. Excuse all of the stuff that's in the way, but I think it could look really cute here and then I can put all my oats and stuff up there. So I guess I'm gonna have to drill another six holes. Yay. can see this but this is a chalkboard that used to be from my family's old hotel and it says messages for and telegrams for and it's really really old my nan gave it to me a while ago and I think it's so cool that it has like a bit of family history to it so I'm gonna put it up on the wall and I'm gonna actually use it as a chalkboard for when I need like kitchen supplies I can write them down and then I won't forget to go and buy them Although most likely I'm gonna write something on here, it's gonna stay there for six months. You know the drill, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Just realized, not even centered. Not even slightly centered. And I measured the length and I put the dot exactly where I wanted it. But when I went to measure the height, disregarded the dot completely and went by some random speck on the wall that I thought was the mark I made. So we're like, 10 centimeters that way. <laughs> My drill has run out of battery, so I'm just gonna leave it. I might fix it another day, but <laughs> it's up, so great. As with any house renovation, sometimes things don't happen in the perfect order. So I did have the tiles put up before the electrics were fully perfectly done. So I had a couple of holes that I just decided to grout by myself because it was so easy and inexpensive. The grout was two pounds and I had these wallpaper scrapers. So I did my best and um, it's kind of painful to watch, but they turned out perfectly fine. <laughs> My next task was to remove the rail and replace it with something that's a little bit more in keeping with the style of the kitchen. After that was done, I still had a few areas in the kitchen that I really wanted to just get tidied and decluttered. I got rid of a lot of my bits and pieces and knickknacks, but as you can see, I've still kept a few things for plants and holding flowers that I've got at the bottom of this IKEA unit, but that's the extent of it. <laughs> the rest of it has gone to the charity shop. And I uh, just did a little bit of tidying before the next day when it was time to style. And now it's time for the finishing touches.
done. This is what the kitchen is looking like now. from 80% done to 100%. I had lived like this for too long and I'd let the surfaces get way too cluttered and it never really felt like the Pinteresty kitchen that I dreamed of. It just felt like a mess and now it's just a bit more cozy and I feel like I've put a bit more of my personality into this space and I'm really, really pleased with the outcome. So that's the kitchen done, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna touch it now for a long time. I don't have any more projects I wanna do in here. She says, watch me paint a feature wall in like three months time, I'm so annoying. But that's it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. If you're renovating as well, tell me how your journey is going in the comments down below. I'd love to hear about it. And with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good week. Happy decorating and I'll see you next time. Bye.